So in terms of the private clients, what is the most they can hope for from the real leading edge banks? Right, uh, the, uh, the real holy grail is client engagement. It, it's, it's a client engagement that's different from, um, from um, uh, what you're used to. And uh, the experience level is really um, where the digital aspect comes in. And it's not a pure digital experience that the clients are looking for. It's a hybrid between the two, between advisors clearly leading the or owning the client relationship, but being supported with digital as, uh, as, as, as a 24-7 a, a service layer that uh, the clients are so used to in all other fields of their life. And um, so ultimately, it's really a support in many areas. Uh, in some areas, when we go to the mass affluent, uh, it, it's going to be more the leading channel. But uh, but particularly in the private banking field, it's it's going to be a supporting channel. But but that, that makes it so tricky because ultimately the um, the coordination between the advisor and the digital channel has to be um, without um, uh, any inconsistencies. And uh, and then one side knowing what the other side is doing. And quite frankly, we can learn a lot from the behavior of, of consumers online. And the firm can take away insights on what the client is really interested in, and that's um, um, and, and that's unique. That that's something uh, really st that puts the bank in a very unique position to serve the client much better. So for the client, it's it's uh, it's that. Um, um, instant gratification they're so used to in all the other areas of their lives, and um, which, quite frankly, in in private banking, they have not experienced to date or very limited. That, that I think wealth management is one of the few spaces where digital has really not found much of a presence yet. And it's really, um, in many other fields, it's uh, six, seven years ago that the, those technologies have, have changed the life of, uh, of, of individuals. So you're saying the private banks should be taking huge inspiration from the non-financial players, the telcos, the payment services and, and other Co um, consumer companies. Uh, uh, absolutely, and uh, we, we see many aspects of life. Obviously, for example, um, uh, cable television being revolution uh, revolutionized right now. Um, uh, video rental has been uh, changed m many years ago. Um, we see uh, in, in, in pretty much in all aspects of life, we see the first go-to point is the digital channel for many consumers, and it's a, it's almost a reflex by now that um, that they turn to their network, to their um, to, uh, to, to to the internet for 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 the first. Um, uh, education and then to the professional to get uh, to get the final solution in place. But uh, banks have been um, um, very haphazard in, 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 in going down that route, and uh, and that ultimately gives the client a very um, um, 1990s experience uh, versus a, a 2010 experience. Well, Alois, we'll be following your research with interest. It's a great pleasure to have you on board. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me.